guys welcome back to another episode of the lore series for m crater so today what we're going to be working on is adding all these tools as items and well tools i guess and then what we'll be doing is setting up their properties making sure that they are similar to the vanilla ones i was thinking about making these more like a diamond set and um just using different minerals and stuff to kind of indicate certain things so we could basically use um the uh phosphorus or phosphorite or whatever it's called as kind of like a similar to diamond um giving that it's a renewable resource it's a little bit overpowered but when you leave the dimension you won't be able to actually bring a whole bunch of stuff with you um basically what you bring into the world is what you come with and what you leave with world is what you go with so um, unless you mine a whole bunch of stuff of this uh, phosphorite or whatever it's called, um, it won't really give you a lot of uh, resources. We could also make a condition where when they go through the world, it will basically remove it all from the player's inventory as well. Uh, that's always an option. Um, tools are harder to stack in the inventory, so we could allow those, but not the raw gems so and also certain resources like the sticks and stuff uh, we could also make it so you would need those as well and that they're only part of the actual world so at the moment uh, what I'm currently doing is trying to get up get all the items basically made I needed to go through all of the items and then update the names and properties and make sure that they were similar to diamond um, I might not even keep it as diamond. I might make it something more like iron, um, which might be probably more reasonable for the quantity that it actually generates. And at the moment, it's a ocean uh, because there's so much water. But uh, when there is m less water and more river, um, then there there's going to be uh, it, less area for it to actually generate in. So. Uh, we'll see how it balances out, and we might keep it as diamond, we might keep it as um, iron later on, but we'll see basically how the environment changes when we get to some new biomes and stuff. But um, overall, uh, the thing that I needed to do was start adding recipes, and uh, then I needed to basically go ahead and create a few other things for the... Uh, thing I actually accidentally set up a procedure system. I was going for a recipe and I wanted to update this and call it um, another I think it was a stone uh, I don't know what it was but it was this is basically what we'll be using for the smelting recipes for all the items and then I got the idea that we should probably use a tag and then have it smelt some sort of item back so in the future, what I want to do is actually add like a nugget form of this uh, f this gem. And then what we can do is we can replace the item with this recipe. So basically for what it gives back. And then you can slowly craft a little bit back up. Um, overall though, it would take a lot of resources in order to build one of the, like I think like nine of them. So nine things you would have to smelt down to get one of the things which would probably give you like no more than a shovel so um yeah it's just we'll play around with it a little bit more i wanted to see what we could and how the tools would actually react with uh the certain environment and we'll see how it um works from there but uh i also wanted to make sure that some of the things that we've already added uh certain things in the world were already going to be able to be broken with this particular tool so uh, things like the stone and stuff like that. I wanted to make sure that you could actually mine all that. So I just basically added the tag and added all the items to the tag. So basically any of those items could be smelted and it'll be used in those two recipes. Um, and then I started focusing back on making the recipes for the, um, the actual, uh, what do you call it, the tools and stuff like that. I think right about now I was looking up the uh, recipes for <laughs> tools because I wasn't sure how they were crafted. I remember them being crafted on more of a diagonal uh, system, but it looks, it was, I looked on wiki and it looks like they, they moved it to 
kind of like a, I don't know, like a top straight format. Because I remember it being more similar to what the tool icon looked like. All right, so basically, once I figured that out, I, I could start working on the tools and stuff like that. I have the wiki page up at the moment on the other screen. Well, one of the other screens. And uh, I have like three 4K monitors. And I just, I don't know. I used 1080p because it was just too hard for people to see stuff. So, um and a lot of games aren't fully optimized for 4K resolution anyway, so it's just easier to record on 1080p. Also, it's better for my eyes because I can actually see what the text is saying, so <laughs> that always helps too. Um, anyhow, uh, I started working on some of the recipes. I wanted to add the um, group names for the recipe things, so I could basically go ahead. Now, one of the things that I really want to actually add is custom sticks, and we might start adding some special trees and stuff later in the biome. Um, I know that some of you suggested that we should add like trees and stuff like that. The shrubs were kind of like a idea for that, but I think like actually adding a small shrub or tree type thing structure not too common in the biome but common enough where you could still get wood get some saplings replant things like that would still be a good idea because um at the moment it's pretty flat but having a little bit of trees might actually work a little bit uh that would also give us um maybe some different color sticks as well so we could always do that um with that being said though i wanted to test to see if the items were craftable and the if there were smeltable in the furnace and blast furnace because I added a recipe for both of those um, using the tag and I just wanted to make sure the tag was set up properly. So I just used a stick and I know that sticks burn out and require actually two sticks in order to um, actually smelt the whole thing so it would just roll back. So as long as you see the progress bar happening that's good. Um, I know that the recipe works because otherwise it wouldn't do any crafting recipe. So uh, that's why I was just testing quickly with that. And I noticed that it worked on the blast furnace as well. And as far as crafting goes, I just wanted to see what the tools look like. So I basically just quickly turned into creative. And I actually really like that uh, combination. It's like F3, F4. And you can basically use your mouse to select... Uh, what game mode that you want to go into. I think that's fairly new, actually. Uh, that or I've just not noticed it at all all this time. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you can basically switch your game mode quite easily without typing the slash give command, well, giving that you have the proper permission to do so. But I wanted to just see what the, like, the um, attack time was. So I went back into survival just to kind of get an idea how fast it actually mines all this stuff and we might like I said we might adjust the value later on to be more like iron or something like that but I just wanted to get a feel for the item and see what it actually does to the environment like I noticed that the the plants that are on here are basically breaking and dropping as an item uh, technically they shouldn't be doing that um, this is probably due to a condition or something like that. We might need to play around with some stuff. Now, I was trying to figure out why this wasn't really mining too much. It mines a little bit faster with a sword, which I guess kind of makes sense. But um, I just wanted to see what the pickaxe would be able to do. So I'm just, I mined out some of this area. And I ended up mining out the uh, the stone there, but I wanted to see how it was how it would react on the like the ore. So I wanted to see how well it mined the ore and stuff. So I started mining the the coal ore that we added in a while back. And then I'm like, okay, I think there's uh, other blocks here that we need to actually test. So gravel, uh, I tested this gravel, and then I was trying to find some sand, and finding sand is actually really hard. <laughs> underground because it's all the same color I couldn't actually spot it at first even though that I just noticed that I walked by it like multiple times but um, it, it also doesn't help the cave is pretty dark either so um, yeah so <laughs> I'm just like I'm just kind of looking around I'm going where is sand so I was going to go out and just go to the ocean 
and then I'm like, oh, maybe it's in here. Maybe there can be some sand in here or something like that. So I'm like looking around and I'm not seeing any sand, right? But I mean, the texture is pretty similar, but I'm like, okay, maybe there's no sand that is easily reachable. So I'm like, just start hitting things. I don't just like, where's sand? All right, so eventually I'm like, go out and I noticed that there was um, some on a little perch just outside of the thing here. So I went up the, the stream and there was some up, I guess, over there as well. But I noticed the one right on the cliff side there. So I, I did a pretty good jump and I just wanted to see how fast it would actually mine all that stuff. So it actually mines quite quickly, but giving that it's equivalent to diamond tools. And uh, once I went outside, I wanted to make sure that I could actually use the hoe. And it doesn't do the hand animation, so we might add that. But outside of that, that's all the time for today. If you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. Peace out.